Good morning, everyone. I'm humbly Anna Anders, one of the founders of ForkGlobalPeace.com. And this morning, I just want to say hello and a shout out to everyone everywhere and uh, wish you well. Wish you well and, um, and also just to touch base and to say hello to everyone on my social media platform, uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube videos. So... Um, this morning I got up. I actually feel kind of groggy, guys. I, we have snow on the ground again today. The weather's been flip-flopping here in corrupt Cleveland, Ohio. So we don't know if we should wear boots or flip-flops, okay? Um, I have my boots right here by my patio door, and I have my flip-flops too, but the weather keeps flip-flopping. And uh, I got up this morning thinking about and contemplating about... Uh, a friend of mine who's from uh, Strongsville, Ohio, Keith, uh, he does uh, chemtrails and, and he's talking about weather warfare. But in reality, Keith, this is a shout out to you, Keith King, Anna Anders here. Uh, what I want to say is it's not just weather warfare. It's human warfare and weather warfare mixed together with those harp towers. And the reason I say that is because, yes, again this morning I got up feeling sick and nauseated and like groggy, like a, like a head fog. And I know I, I didn't do anything out of the ordinary for myself. So last night I slept lousy. Um, so just kind of touching base with you guys with that. So the heart project is really real, like corrupt Israel is really real across this country. Um, talking about harp specifically. Um, and so it's really troublesome. But on that note, I was also being reflective and genuinely gr so grateful for my recovery. Um, got up for a morning meeting already, and um, which my sponsor chairs, you know, every every Monday through Friday at 6:30 a.m. until about 7:15. But anyways, um, yeah. So I joined that. But what I'm thinking about is how my program of recovery requires me to practice rigorous honesty. Rigorous honesty um, for myself and for others, you know, from the inside out. It's an inside job. Recovery is an inside job spiritually, emotionally, physically, in every way, shape, and form. And um, the only way that it's been manifesting for myself, I'm going to tell you guys, I cannot, Anna Anders cannot take credit for it. I have to give all credit and glory to my higher power, to my highest power, which I call sacred creator, God, who created this planet, who created the Grand Canyon, who created Niagara Falls, who created all the beautiful scenery in the world, okay, right down to Africa, to Egypt, to Norway, to Australia, to wherever you want to go on this planet. I don't care, Hawaii, um, wherever, uh, Japan, you know, China, you know, cr Sacred Creator created all this, and He created all our humanity and all our abundance of cultures. You know, I mean, and one thing Disneyland did get right, one thing you did get right, Disneyland, shout out to you, is uh, it's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It is a small world after all when we think about it. When we think about how small our world is, uh, in terms of being able to reach up and reach out to it. We can fly to Japan. We can fly to China. We can fly to Egypt. We can fly to all these wonderful places. We can be, I can be right now if I want to go to India, India and say hello to my friends there. I can go there and uh, be there at the touch of a button on a smartphone, on a tablet, on a computer. I can say hello anywhere. And so we have all this... Um, connectedness if you will and so this is what I was reflecting about and I know I'm a little wound up a little bit but at the same time it's uh, requiring me how do I want to say this to you guys it's showing me that yeah my recovery requires me to be rigorously honest and it's been a process of spiritual illumination and on that note I want to bring something up in this book again Alcoholics Anonymous they make reference to the third step about how, um, you know, like you have, it's best to believe in a power greater than yourself, okay? And I got to tell you guys, they make reference and they use the example of electricity, okay? Electricity, like right over there is my light switch on my wall. So they use this example that, you know, you can have faith. You know, it doesn't take much faith to believe that that switch will turn on the lights, right? 
Um, and so what happened for me this morning is this, and actually to tell you the truth in our meeting this morning, they made reference to the exact same thing. So what I'm trying to translate here, guys, is this. We are being manipulated. We are being manipulated by the Illuminati so much it's not even funny. Because they even make reference to the electricity switch inside the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. And I'm humbly Anna Anders, one of the many founders of ForGlobalPeace.com from Corrupt Cleveland, Ohio, which is also where the electric company is in Corrupt Cleveland, Ohio. It's called the Illuminating Company. See, the Illumined Ones... The higher up ones, John D. Rockefeller, who had his hands inside this. See, these globalist elite, like I said, guys, they like to get their hands into everything. So, John D. Rockefeller, he funded, and he was part of AA. He knew because he was funding also the other side, the other side of prohibition to get passed so that corrupt Wall Street could come out with all the booze and all the beautiful bottles. They knew that they were going to break that news. So, they knew that they were going to break market. You know, market, you know, media, market, and marketing, the booze, and, and all this stuff. But here's my problem, okay? Here's my rigorous honesties. Shooting straight from the hip and giving it some lip, hip and lip service, okay? My problem is this. I don't care what Rockefellers did. But you did a lot of damage, 1% parasitical elite globalists. You did a lot of damage by lying, cheating, stealing, uh beating people down, covering up and co covering up and handing off covert information, see? That's what you did, you illumined ones. And you towed on yourself because you created the illuminating company, Electricity and Corrupt Cleveland. So what I'm saying is this, and I brought this up in my meeting this morning, guys. I really did because we were in the big book. I brought it up. You know, I want the whole story. I'm a real human being. I deserve to be told the whole truth and not part of the truth. You deserve to be told the whole truth and not part of the truth, too. So the truth is we all been lied to because, see, this whole electric thing turning on that switch costs us money today. Costs us money. And um, what I want to say, honey, is this. Hi, I'm Anna Anders on the YouTube channel. I have solar panels in my home in Arizona, corrupt Arizona. I can't even live there because the corrupt... Poli political mofos had me chased and my tail chased and, and followed for two years. Two solid years right outside my front door of my home in Flagstaff, Arizona, one of my homes, because I had a home on North Nyla and I had my home that's bought and paid for um, in Navajo County. Couldn't even live there. And there I have free electricity where I could turn the switch on and off all day long. And the sun, the sun, that was sun does not send me a bill for the electricity. Imagine that. So these illumined ones, Illuminati, if you will, they always want to tell us we should rise, rise above. See, Oprah's telling us in her new magazine, we should rise above anything, right? Well, Oprah, what I want to say is, uh, my other half taught me this, my, my Hopi Tewa other half, Butterfly Badger Clan, taught me this. What this O means here, this is an Illuminati reference for female energy, in case anybody doesn't know this. And you can go on YouTube, Google, research, do your own research. So that's what that O means it's referring to on this Oprah magazine. And I'm sorry, Oprah, you're beautiful and everything, honey. But what I want to say is uh, put more di put different people on the magazine cover here because it's, it's just getting old after a while. You know, put some people in real need and show us what you're doing to help the needy, the real needy, that need the real truth and stuff about the Illuminati, the Illuminating Company, how the Illuminati funds all these uh, funds and fabricates because this is the other thing I was thinking about, fabric and fabric fabrication and makeup and all this stuff. You know, we got all the bling bling, Oprah. We, we know we have it at our fingertips. But what we really need, Oprah, is the real truth. The real truth. Now, the real truth is, what's, what about Palestine? What about Palestine? What about Syria? What about Iraq 1? What about Iraq 2? What about JFK? What about the Bush family regime? What about Prescott Bush being Hitler's banker? What about Pope John Paul II? What about Jersey Kluger? What about Jersey Kluger? What about Pope John Paul II? Because they took out Pope John Paul I. They poisoned him because he wouldn't change banks. Change banks from non-profit status with the Catholic Church to for-profit with Chase Manhattan Bank. So Pope John Paul II did change banks to Chase Manhattan Bank, guys. So that's what it is. 
And I, when I went to 9-11, 9-11, the 10th anniversary of 9-11-01, and I took those peace flags that people said I would never make, my own family making fun of me, you'll never make those. You're going to make those peace flags like Daddy wrote a book <laughs> and make fun of me. Made fun of me. My own supposed beloved ones made fun of me. People, see if you can survive all this crap. See if you can survive it all. And then to know that corrupt Cleveland pretended to look for a missing family member for 10 years when they had Ariel Castro's license plate number? You see how you come out on the other end of all of that. Shame on you all. And shame on you for not being rigorously honest. It's disgusting. It's disgusting that we use shit like this to bullshit each other and, and, and say rise above. Rise above what? The corruption? The tyranny? The exploitation and desecration? Of sacred human life, not just the indigenous people, but in the Middle East. Those indigenous people, the Palestinians, Caterpillar Corporation, bulldozing homes and lives away, bulldozing sacred human rights away. All for what? Cannon fodder? Oil? Greater Israel Project? Shame on people. Shame on people because they think that they got a little magazine or something that they can put out to fabricate crap. Shame on people is what I want to say. So yeah, I want to be illumin I want to be illuminated. I want to be enlightened. I really do. But I want the real truth. I don't want false narratives. I don't want false narr fake makeup crap, you know? Show me, show me Oprah on her worst days. How's that? Show me Oprah on her worst days and show me her, her, her workers too that know the real deal. So the real deal is we're all being lied to. They want to promote their products in here. Corrupt Wall Street is promoting products through here, okay? Who lives like this stuff, okay? Who really, you know what I'm saying? Come on, people. Let's tell the truth. Truth is we're all being lied to for corrupt media, corrupt marketing, corrupt hidden agendas we're not being told we're not being told the truth we're being sold lies by the liars the globalist one percent parasitical elite liars warmongers that want to pretend like they're doing oh look we're doing something good we're welcoming the, the we're, we're 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 jewish people for peace and we're welcoming the uh the people how nice of us here huh well geez What's, what's Israel doing for peace in the Middle East? Let's hear from them today. What is Netanyahu doing today for Palestine? Has he crossed the borders? Has he crossed the borders and gone over and offered a piece of bread peacefully and fish to sit down with the Palestinians and say we should end all this? We should end all these bombs and we should, we should make peace. Make genuine peace. Make genuine peace, not not false narratives. And and speaking of genuine peace, I was thinking about Barack Obama, but I really should call him uh, Barry Satoto, right? He's a CIA asset. So I was thinking about him and how he got the peace uh, Nobel Peace Prize for what? What peace did he bring? A piece of uh, a piece of the militant action to the Middle East? Some more? You know? Don't drone me, baby. Um, I don't know, people. We live in a, a really messed up society, and the truth needs to be told, and people need to be bold enough to speak to it. And I'm humbly Anna Anders. I don't know if I hit the target today. I don't care. I'm done with this video. I got to go. Bye.